Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yazil and today we're gonna work with Unity. Finally. <laughs> so, what's the goal for today? We know there is a login plugin over here, uh, which is uh, free and has everything in. But I thought it's uh, a little bit better if we do it on, on, on our own, so we can learn a little bit about the network functions in Dark Rift, so when we make new plugins, we understand what's going on there. Let me show it. Um, f first, uh, I started the server over here, uh, which is exactly in the state we had it before, except I changed port numbers, but that is uh, easy going since you know you just have to edit the configuration CNF file. So we start that. You see the connect is going on here. And if we push the login button, we get a message on the server that we got an uh, information from a client. And uh, the server check is 10 and the subject in 10 is 1. If I push the add user button, it says it has the server tag 10 and the subject number 3. So that's basically that what we're gonna rebuild. Um, yeah, well, uh, let's get started. I'm gonna clean here up and see you in a sec. As you can see, I pre built the UI. So let's see what we did. I went and uh, UI uh, built the canvas and um, in the canvas I changed the scaler to scale with screen size and put in the maximum resolution. Also I added an image and uploaded an image over here and changed it to a sprite. So I just can drag and drop that from here, there, and we got a background there. Then I added uh, a new UI panel, uh, which is this middle. The anchor and the pivot I went to uh, set to the middle, so it's always centered in our screen, and the width and height from 600 to 600, and the background to black. Next I edit the text field, you want text, um, set the pivot to down left, which is when you click here and hit shift and alt, you just put them here. You see it went down there. Now you have to position it. It was like 100 to 500. So um, I set the button here, best fit, so uh, the text is uh, optimal into this uh, little square, and put the text middle and middle. So that's all on that. Of course I changed the text over here and did the text color. I copied that and did a few more text fields. One is username and one is password. Also set the pivot and the anchor and uh, position it with X and uh, Y. And after that I build the input fields, which is UI input field. In the UI input field I did basically the same. Set the anchor, um, did the press color and position it with X and Y and um, in the text fields 
as a placeholder, I added the name here. It's in the middle of the row and at the beginning of the line. Added the color, uh, the name here. And um, in the text field, I did the same here and here. And set best fit again. Also, I did that with, uh, I copied that with the password input field, which is the down here position. And the rest again, as we did before, placeholder text. text. And then I did uh, three buttons, which is UI button. Named them uh, again, pivot point and anchor, and position X and Y. Press color also, and copied that. Uh, Two times for login button, add user button, and quit button. And when we start that, let's do that. Come on, play. The function is basically there. Oh, one we can do. The password in the moment is still alphanumeric. If you want a password field direct, you go on the, onto the text on password import. Oh no, on password import and uh, set this no, the content to, to password. And if we start that now, you got the stars here. Yeah, that's for the UI, and next will be start programming. So, close that. Uh, first, we have to connect to the um, ref DuckRift server, and for that, I make a new. Oops. Create empty, we call it Network Manager. I like it on top. And we need a script. So create folder Network. Create C sharp script network manager. So we edit the network manager script. I do it in more development in a moment, but you also can use, of course, uh, Visual Studio. So we need another using Dark Rift and we need two variables public so we can edit them in the editor public string um, IP let's see I will take uh, dot dot zero dot zero dot one and we need to port uh, public. Um, oops. Public int uh, port gleich three three one. On the start, we need to open up the server connection. Starcraft uh, API for dot to work in background. Get background gleich true and Starcraft API dot connect and that's IP dot port. 
So now we open up the connection uh, with threaded uh, functions and uh, we connect on this IP we defined above and on the port we defined above. And to make sure we send a message to the server when we quit, we use the function void on application quit. And there we need to use the darkrift API again. Dot disconnect. Save and let's check that out. We open up the server and start in the game. Ah, uh, and we forgot something. We got here this object and we need to add the script, of course. And start again. And as you can see, there is a connect string from our client. And if we stop the client, we misspelled something. of course on application quit save start again connect and there's our disconnect message for the next part I made a few folders with three C sharp script in it. For once, there is then a helper class which I store uh, some constants in it for transferring stuff through the network. Also, a login script which handles everything which comes direct into um, our scene and a background manager, login manager. So let's see the scripts. First of all is here the my CS. It's just a public class NT for network transport. And it has a public const byte a login tag. That's the 10 we always see. Uh, for example, if we go later on, there should be stuff like public const uh, byte uma, like 11 or something like that. So it helps on mistyping and also on uh, remember which tags we already used in our server. The next is the uh, login sub subject. In a moment, I got three here: login user, login uh, logout user, and add user. Uh, we know already the one and the three we saw in the server. Next is the background manager. I opened the namespace login and. Um, we have basically three functions. Um, one is the login function. We get over the login the script uh, string username and string password. We using the darkref writer and build our data file, our data object. So we write the username and the password and using send to server, which is the function down here, and we give uh, some stuff in it. So it's here a 
across the helper class the login uh, tag and out of the helper class this is the login subject and of course uh, the writer we just built here if we open these send to server it looks uh, into the Darkrift API and just looks if it, it's connected. If it is, then uh, um, we send a message. Darkrift send message to server. There are different kind of uh, send messages here. You can send to all or send to others or send to server. Send to all means every client who's connected uh, gets the message. Um, and send to others uh, means all other uh, except yourself or the uh, main client who is running the program is uh, not receiving the message. We going by tag, subject and data, that's the object we uh, transfer from here. And also there is an add user which is the same but uh, we got here the other subject for add user, which was here for login user. And else if we're not connected, we just uh, make a debug uh, error log. So the login script is even easier. We just have the two variables, the input fields. We got uh, here and uh, here. And we got button public button functions um, we just open the login manager dot login and then give uh, the both variables we used in the login manager over here we also have, an, uh, have the button add user uh, which is basically the same um, as you saw before and uh, we got a button quit which is just an application quit um, it doesn't work in the editor mode but in a window mode you get disconnected if you hit that so that's that um, you need to build an object here, an empty object and put in the login script inside also put the username and the password input inside and the last thing we have to do is go on to our buttons and look here for the plus click on the login manager and look for the function we programmed for the login button so it's button login and that we have to do for the add user button also login manager hit plus login manager and then look for login button add user and for the quit button also hit plus login manager and look for login quit let's open up the server server okay uh, up it is start the program we are connected we hit log on we hit add user we got the subject one and subject three so that was everything for this uh, tutorial in the next tutorial we work on to process these data on the server side so I hope you did understand everything I told you uh, I'm still not feeling quite comfortable with my English I'm trying to get better over the time if you like it push the like button and uh, if you subscribe I would be more than happy so happy night shift and see you next time Thank you.